hello and welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video today's video is going to be autumn reset day um, catching up with you I've been so rushed off my feet lately I really just want to like have a really calm day and um, just kind of getting things done making some nice food Oren and I aren't very well at the moment Oren is actually very unwell well not very unwell but he's got a cold and He's just not great at the moment. Um, I'm obviously not very well as well, and um, Lawrence so far is good, but no doubt he's gonna pick it up soon. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, so for the rest of the day, I just need to, well, for the rest of the week, really, I need to slow down. So today I want to do like an autumn reset day. I'm making a couple of recipes today, uh, really feel good, autumnal, wintry, like, really luxurious recipes and um, obviously I wanted to film them because uh, I wanted to share them with you and I can't make these recipes and not film them for something so I thought I'd film them in today's video and then as you saw we've had a really slow morning so far so we slept in till about half seven which is so late for me and Oren uh, that just shows that we're definitely ill and um because we're normally up by half six like up anyway it's really nice to sleep until half seven so we took the morning really slow we um, watched a bit of TV we read some books um, oren has gone off his food big time so I managed to get him to eat like a fruit pouch just with the fruit yeah and then uh, we kind of read some books and then we got our clothes on and went out for a gorgeous autumn walk and it was absolutely stunning this morning like it was that weather that kind of there's a chill in the air so much so that your nose is kind of runny but the Sun is really nice as well and it just smells lovely outside and we just really enjoyed our walk and then we got back and he's now fast asleep so long may that continue and um, to continue the kind of slow morning uh, when I get 20 minutes in the morning I always love to go on my um, Babbel app which is my language learning app so I've been doing that this morning um, and this part of the video is actually sponsored by Babbel so thank you so much Babbel but yeah I've spent some of this morning um, learning Spanish <laughs> on my uh, iPad and it's been absolutely wonderful to do it in the morning with a cup of tea with a cup of warm tea or in as a sleep and I learned some of my Spanish I'm doing really well at the moment no very basic words from other languages but I've never like you know since school taking the time to actually learn properly a different language and I'm learning this language without realizing how much I'm learning and how quickly I'm learning it because Babbel um, is so easy to use and I have it on the iPad and you can um, play games and it puts things in sentences for you it repeats words back to you it has voice rec recognition so it can like hear what I'm saying as well and um, yeah just learning it through like the playing the games the flashcards um it teaches all the words and then you go straight back and it asks you about those words and um it's such a visual way of learning and for someone like me who really needs that way of learning um it's been absolutely amazing and i'm getting such a sense of like confidence in myself it's so strange like since doing Babel, it's just like a bit of me time that um, I don't get very often with a baby, obviously, um, but it's one where I feel like I'm also achieving something. I'm learning so much, and I think for me, I always have like this sense of guilt when I'm abroad that I don't know their language, but they know my language, um, because obviously most people do speak English, and it's kind of sad that I don't take the time to learn someone else's language as well. So I'm really enjoying Spanish at the moment. I'm probably gonna move on to like, brushing up on my German next. I did German in school. I've been absolutely loving Babbel and um, it's something I do to take a bit of me time and it's something I'm really proud of and it's so much easier than I thought it would ever be. Um, and I wish I kind of started years ago. If you did want to try Babbel out, uh, my link can get you up to 50% off at the moment. So it's an amazing deal they're doing at the moment. So take up on it now um, rather than later because I'm not sure how long the deal is going to be live for, but I've left the link down below for you. Maybe just check it out for a month and see how you go. But if you're like me who loves to learn and is a visual learner, you're gonna love this. Thank you to Babbel for sponsoring this part of the video. Um, so I've been doing that, I've been doing learning my language this morning, <clears throat> now I'm going to get on with a little bit of work, now Oren's asleep, and then when he's awake, um, actually I might prepare one of my recipes now, 
um, because I think I've got all the stuff in. I know I need to send Lawrence out to the shops. He doesn't know this yet, but I'm gonna have to go tell him to go to the shops um, to get a couple of bits for my other recipe. But <clears throat> let's just enjoy like a really nice day together. Get your notepad ready. I know a lot of people write down my recipes as the video goes along, which is great. Um, so get your notepad ready. I am trying to work on something to get all my recipes in one place. I'm not sure when it's gonna go live or be out. It might take a couple more months, but I'm really trying. Um, just know that every recipe I've ever done will be available. Um, but yeah, today, grab your notepad um, and I'll, I'll show you what we're making. the recipes I'm going to be making is chicken noodle soup um a really like health boosting get about get better get well nutritious delicious chicken noodle soup you can do this in slow cooker you can do this in saucepan it doesn't really matter what am I going to do it in I might do it in a crock pot or a dutch oven as some people call it um should I do it in slow cooker I'm going to do it in the slow cooker, but I need to get a move on. So, um, essentially, it's super easy. I'm going to show you now. And it's very, very good for you. Very, very delicious. Perfect for um, these cosy days. And um, a bowl of soup on the sofa in front of Bake Off. Can't wait. That's my plan tonight. noodle soup now in the slow cooker if you didn't catch my drift of what I do there um, it's very very easy just chop all your vegetables up um, I would normally use sweet corn and mushrooms as well but we're out which I'm very sad about so um, we've just got onions carrots celery ginger is really good in this because ginger does really help you to get better and um, it's also a natural anti-inflammatory I add loads of garlic because garlic is so good for you um, also a natural anti-inflammatory. Yeah, so that's just gonna sit in the slow cooker for the next few hours. The chicken's gonna go really, really soft and it's gonna shred apart. Then I'm gonna add the noodles and hey presto, we've got dinner. Um, so whilst the chicken noodle soup cooks, I'm going to make, I really have been craving this for so long and uh, we picked up some brownie apples from a neighbor. Um, I'm going to make apple crumble. Now, this is my first time making apple crumble, I believe, so yeah, I'm a bit nervous to be honest. Um, 
I'd made like apple pie and stuff, but crumble, I haven't. So I'm a bit nervous, but we're gonna make it anyway. I got some good old fashioned custard in the tub from um, Aldi. So we're gonna have apple pie and custard later, hopefully, if this goes well. But I found an apple crumble recipe on uh, Readly when I was reading through last night. It looks quite foolproof. So hopefully I can do it. Um, but let's just see, let's just make it and we'll see. That's the thing about cooking, being in the kitchen, you've, you've just got to take risks sometimes and it, you've got to be okay that sometimes it doesn't go well. Um, but mostly it does go well, so let's give it a go. They smell so good, oh. Okay, first thing I do, is get the apples and peel them. Apparently you only need three apples, so I'm gonna look, pick the three best looking apples. And then with the fourth apple, I'm going to make um, an apple slaw, cold slaw. That's actually a recipe on my Instagram. A lot of you guys make that. Um, it's so delicious, but I'm gonna leave one of them for making a cold slaw for later in the week. But um, yeah, three of them. I'm gonna peel and chop into one centimeter thickness. lot easier than I thought it would be um it was a bit time consuming with like the rolling the crumb but how good does that look so I'm gonna put it in the fridge for it to cool down and then when we want it for pudding later we'll put it in the oven and um, put the custard on so excited hello <laughs> I was just opening this and I thought, I bet you guys want to see it. So I ordered these PJs from H&M <clears throat> and um, they're meant to be dupes of the White Company PJ. But these feel so nice. They're like waffle material. Um, I got these in the brown or beige. Feel absolutely delightful. They feel heavy and oh gosh, I cannot wait to put these on later. They just feel absolutely lovely um, and it's a drawstring which you can tighten which is good. I ordered mine in a size medium. They've got incredible reviews, such lovely quality, I just love the waffle. They're such like an autumn winter style. Why is there a fly in here? Why is there a fly in here? Um, they're such an autumn winter style uh, PJ set, like pure cosy, long sleeve. Oh, just can't wait to put them on later. I'm gonna put them on tonight. I'm gonna have like a really luxurious bath like with salts and a face mask. And I'm gonna use my um, Foreo. My sister-in-law got me a Foreo um, for my birthday. And 
oh, I just love doing a face mask with it. I would have seen Aaron wearing this morning, but I thought, what can I buy to keep his current shoes waterproof without having to buy like tens of different of shoes? Obviously, I'm going to get him some boots uh, or some wellies or something, but these just look really great. They're fur lined and they go over shoes and they're just snow boots basically. Um, but I thought they'll be great for like waterproof as well. And he absolutely loved wearing them. He could walk and run fine in them. Um, I just thought they were really good. They were awesome from H&M. And his little um, hat, his little fern hat with um, drawstring, also from H&M, which I'll link down below. Talking of clothes, turned into a random clothes haul. Um, I did get this delivery today from George Asda. I don't normally buy clothes from George Asda. Um, no no other reason than I just love H&M um, but I needed some basic tops and as to do some basic brown tops which is really good because it's quite hard to find like this colour so a light brown and a dark brown which is fantastic because I wear brown all the time brown is one of my favourite colours to wear and then a um, roll neck brown top so that can go under like sweaters and also like flower power dress like an autumnal dress I really like this to be fair. They were low in stock on this dress actually, but it's a really nice dress. I kind of like that it's a bit 70s feel. Um, so I thought that would be nice this autumn with some boots under a coat. Anyway, I'm going to see how our dinner's getting on. Lawrence's taken Oren out for um, just a late afternoon walk, just in time for when they get back for dinner. The dinner is definitely ready now. So it's been cooking pretty much for like four or five hours on high. I put the noodles in, then I turned it on low and the noodles have been in for like 45 minutes. I don't think it matters now how long it's on because it's on low and it's just basically keeping warm. It smells incredible. I just tasted it. Mm, it's so good. Like the fresh ginger really does make it. I found some fresh ginger. I don't know if I filmed, but I found some fresh ginger in the fridge. Um, and I grated some of that and it really does make it, it really makes it what it is. It needs a little bit of salt. I didn't add too much salt because um, we're feeding it to Orin as well. But I'm going to plate up now and I'm so looking forward to this dinner. Um, I love doing this, especially when we're ill and it's autumn weather and we've been out during the day. Like Orin and I were just running around the garden. It was a really nice time and I'm all a bit cold and I oh, just, I'm so happy at this season. Soup. I love it. Good. Yeah, no, genuinely. Who would like Orin this? Well. Orange's loving it. Um, la, la. I think this would get the Chrissy seal of approval. <gasps> wow. I think it would. I'm going to talk to her about it because I've got to talk to her maybe this week, maybe next week. But okay. I think Chrissy would. Chrissy is a chicken soup aficionado. Yeah. And. Um, I'd be interested to see what she thinks she might, you know, she might have some comments because it's, it's deviated from tradition, but I think the flavour and the heartiness of it. Yeah. It's delicious. So good. Yeah. So needed right now. Oren has eaten so much, the most he's eaten in days, so yeah. I'm literally over the moon about that. <laughs> um, yeah, let's enjoy our soup for our pudding. Oh, yeah. oh, something yeah. in the air and a sparkly shimmer Guys, we've got our apple crumble. Lawrence has gone for custard. I'm gonna have custard tomorrow night because I really fancied ice cream. So we've got some custard left. When I have my apple crumble tomorrow night, I'm gonna have custard. Lawrence's gonna have ice cream. We're gonna do swapsies. Um, but yeah, so excited. It's turned out very well. Lawrence's already had a taste test and said it was very nice. Um, it smells amazing. It smells very autumnal. 